I want to talk about NV32 in terms of software innovations, because that's a product where, if you think about it, we've added a huge amount over time to what the NV32 is capable of versus when it was first launched. So of course, when it was launched, it's an encoder, it's a decoder, and it can do many other things as well. But then the big thing we delivered, mostly via software, was, of course, core mode. So now you have three modes, encode mode, decode mode, or core mode. And when we're in core mode, we're making a trade-off. We're saying we don't want to do streaming. We want a core that is also a 3 by 2 HDMI switcher. But it would be pretty cool if we didn't have to make that trade-off. So our engineers have been really hard at work in the background, and we're excited to announce that we will be having a video streaming license available for the MV32 while it is in core mode. Okay, So this is really cool. This means we can have an MV32 doing encoding and being a core, or decoding and being a core. And if you think about MV21, adding that into the mix, this is going to totally change the way in which we can design certain systems. So let's have a look at some examples here. And here we've got an NV32 as a decoder. And that makes sense here because we've got multiple local sources for the decoder. We've got a display. We're doing bridging. We could have another display if we wanted to. We've got an NV21 at the table doing that single cable BYOD connection. But this is the point where we would normally add something like a Core Nano. Okay, But we don't need to. We can simply add this uh, license on, and we can then have NV32 in core mode plus decoding at the same time. Now, if we look at a different space, we've got this uh, higher education space here. And it makes more sense having the NV32 as an encoder in this situation, because we've got lots of sources we want to encode, and it's a high density encoder. And here, we've got NV21s as the decoders, because we have several single displays. But again, we don't need to add a Core Nano or something like that. We can simply make that NV32 the encoder and the core as well. So I want to be clear, this is still in development. We're still ironing out some of the details, but we do aim to have this available in just a few months. So really exciting stuff.